All right, this is the bottom. And I'm going to do a red one now. Maybe I should clean this up after a little bit. But, as you can see, this one, I'm going to start from the top, I mean the bottom. I was Googling and YouTubing to see if anybody else ever did this, and I didn't find anything. Hard-boiled eggs. Can you do a hard-boiled egg with permanent marker? Yeah, you can. Do you want to eat it? Doubt it. Is it going to kill you? Nah. But you could spend all this time making these Fabergé eggs. There we go. And that's the cap. And then we're going to go to the bottom. Doing the same thing there. Uh-oh, what is that? That's an imperfection. I think there's a hole in my egg. I'm gonna have to crazy glue that and sand that up. As you can see, when you take the permanent marker and go over it a second time, it clears it up. If it's wet, it'll take off all the markings. See what's happening? So you want to let them dry. Alright. Technique is going from top to bottom. Doesn't coat perfectly, but It'll do. This is only the first time. Maybe. The amount of time that you spend coloring these is nothing compared to the amount of time you do preparing the Fabergé egg to be colored. So if you're doing this <clears throat> and you're a parent and you're doing this as an Easter thing, I'd start blowing out eggs and making Fabergé eggs January, February, March. I mean, if you want to fill one of these big packs. There, there's your red one. That's the first coating. I can leave it just like that. But if you're doing something where you want 30 eggs to be in here, travel size, take it to school, show and tell for the kids... You know, artistic, you're an artist, you want to show off your your skills, a tattoo artist. You know, this is something fun to do. These things last forever. Once you're done with these, you could say, When I die, I would like my Fabergé eggs placed in my casket. And there you go. Reworking our red. If you think these are taking way too long, just remember, you're going to have them forever. Unless somebody breaks on it. So this red doesn't really cover that good. So far the gold is king. You can't touch that gold with a 10 foot pole. Best one ever. Can't wait to try the silver. Right now we're waiting for the crazy glue to dry on the one edge. When they are done, my blanks, or my blank Fabergé eggs, waiting to be colored, are ready.
I'm going to make it clean up this mess here because I don't have to sand anything anymore. Uh, not impressed with the way the red is fully covering, but hey, what are you going to do? Not every paint can be gold. They're not perfect, but they work. Finish up our red. It's going to find the light spots. Retouch them. Probably because it's dark. This batch, we have some fluorescents. Sharpies, so we're going to give those a try, see how they coat. So far out of what I've seen with the Sharpies, The metallics work the best. But as you can see, it's not perfect. With the metallics though, best eggs ever. There's my red, and my red is done. Wait, can we get the little on that one? And that's your red.